Hi everyone, Manmeet Chowdhury from Optimum Performance Solutions and as promised, back with week three of my birthday month video, uh, putting a little bit of private me out public so that I can, with the intent to help some of you that may have either experienced the, what I've been through or know somebody and to be of value. So this week I'd like to concentrate on something called, that you may call cheating um, or affairs and I call it now having done quite a bit of work on this subject, um, outsourcing. But before I go into what I experienced, I just want to give you a little bit of a background. Remember in week one, I explained to you that everybody is living by a set of priorities, a set of values from what's most important right down to what's least important. Well, everybody on this planet is looking to fulfill the very um, hierarchy of priorities any way, anyhow they can. And what happens is when somebody in a relationship decides to outsource parts of the relationship and get those values met elsewhere, we start to think that they have betrayed us. They have, you know, um, betrayed our trust. Actually, nobody betrays you. You betray you because you expect somebody else to live inside of your priorities because you say so, right? Ring or no ring. Nobody is committed to you. And I'm talking about relationships mainly here, but just take this same concept into workplaces. When, you, when you've got your own business and you have employees, or if you yourself are an employee, you know that you go to work, not to work for somebody else. You go to work for fulfilling your own priorities. And if comes along another job that fulfills more of other your priorities, you're going to go with that job. Similarly, in a relationship, if you don't feel your, like your priorities are being met inside of this relationship, your antennas go up, start searching to go, where else can I get the very things I'm not being fulfilled in this relationship elsewhere? And you'll start to get those parts of the relationship served elsewhere. Now, I went through this a couple of times. Um, there's a saying that what you don't learn to love and what you keep wanting to avoid, you run into until you've learned to love it. And that's what happened with me. I had a very high, um, you know, infatuation judgment on men should be loyal. And the universe said, well, mommy, we're going to send you a few lessons until you learn to see that men, just like women, are living according to their priorities. So it happened to me um, one time and it happened to me again. And I started to question, why is this kind of happening to me again and again? And that was when I really got interested into why people do these um, acts and what is it where is my responsibility also in this and that was when I got into human behavior very largely I'm very grateful for my ex-partner who uh, served me with this because I can tell you that very act that happened there would be no reason um, why I would be in this work that was a large part of wanting me wanting to understand uh, why does somebody choose to outsource parts of a relationship? Why does somebody want to look elsewhere? Why is it not that, you know, once you're together, it's forever and ever and ever? So I really learned a lot from that. And when my when my ex-partners, it happened in two relationships. So when my first partner did it, it was just like, yeah, you know what? I'm done with you. I'm going on to the next one. But remember what you run away from, you run into. So the next relationship I went to, it happened again. I thought, hmm, this is something interesting now. This is the second time it's happening. So what I really understood is that there were parts of the relationship that were not being fulfilled um, by myself for him. And that is the very thing that he then looked for outside of our relationship. He looked to outsource that relationship. There's a great saying that um, Dr. John Martini, my mentor says, he says, whatever you're not willing to do in a relationship, be willing to delegate. And I really got that. And I thought, well, if I'm not gonna care enough about my partner's priorities and see how I can fulfill them, not just saying I'm gonna fulfill his and that's that. It's about having that caring relationship. How is he also gonna fulfill my priorities? That becomes what we call that caring relationship that I spoke about before as well. So the other thing is that when I got, got like, okay, I see that you know priorities weren't fulfilled, but I still feel hurt. Then I went further to ask this question. What are the benefits right now to me of this thing um, that the partner has decided to do outsource, whether it be, and, and ladies and gents, it can be any part of a relationship. It can be outsourcing the physical side of things, emotional attachment. Um, it could just be, you know, sharing things about work, sharing things about uh, family, 
outsourcing any part of a relationship because they don't feel they can get that fulfilled with you. When I started asking what was the benefit of that happening, well, I know that the second time it happened, it really drove me to understand human behavior. I went and did more courses with Dr. John Martini. I went and worked a hell of a lot on myself and really started to see my own worth as well and looking at where was I not actually being empowered that I was giving my power over to this person. Um, so there were many benefits that came from that. And when I started to list all the benefits of this very act happening with me, until the benefits equaled the drawbacks, remember, I, I, you know, you're never looking to find benefits or something in, in something to make it a positive. You're only ever looking to bring it back into the middle to see that, that in that moment, there were equal benefits and drawbacks of the very act that he did. And for me, that was what got rid of the hurt. And I saw my ex-partners, both of them, as being what I call stars of the universe, guiding me to what was most important to me. I would not, sincerely, hand on heart, I would not be doing what I am doing if it wasn't for them. And um, for that, I will remain grateful to them. So I don't see that as they need forgiving. I don't see that as, you know, they did me wrong, they betrayed me. I saw that that was just something that needed to happen to, um, you know, help me in that moment, understand and teach this to people. Because now what do I do? I help other people through this um, and understand where they're coming from, what they've lived through, because I've been through it myself. So, you know, these questions, like I said, it helps you see, um, you know, it takes you out of being victim of your history and master of your destiny just by asking these questions. And don't forget what our, what is our role in that. Remember I said nobody is committed to you. They're just committed to the fulfilling their priorities. So if you don't take the time to find out what your partner's priorities are, just know that they're going to look elsewhere. Um, and that's there's no right or wrong in that. They're just looking to fulfill their priorities as much as you are. So what I would say is if you're in a relationship, Find out what your partner's priorities are. See how they can both be fulfilled by fulfilling your own set of values. And if you have a business, find out what your employees' um, set of values are so that you can communicate in their values to have them actually work for you and be inspired to work for you, not that they need your motivation to work for you. I hope that's been of value. Um, if you know anybody that's you know going through this or has been through this, please forward the video. If anybody would like to contact me personally, please also uh, reach out and I can help them through this so they don't have to live through years and years of what they perceive to be hurt and betrayal and somebody having an affair and you know them not seeing what the perfection in actually what's being served to us. So um, yeah, I'll be back next week with the final fourth week for my birthday month. But I know I've had some great feedback. I will go ahead and carry on doing some like this. Uh, and if there's any subject in particular you'd like to hear about, just give me a shout and I will um, cater for that. Bye.